What the flip is up, tubers? How are we doing? Bitch, where have you been? Yeah, I'll tell ya. So, first of all, I'm talking really quietly because it's 1.07 in the morning on November 7th, and I have neighbors, and I have a roommate, and I'm not trying to wake anyone up or get a noise complaint. It's kind of like ASMR. You know, roll with it. Secondly, I filmed this video that you're about to watch a week ago before the presidential election, before the world went into chaos and is still going into chaos. We still don't know who our president is, so that's fun. Update, it's nine hours later. It's Biden, bitch. Trump is out of here. Turn it up! really tone deaf <laughs> to post anything especially like a very emotional video about my life i signed a contract a while ago it's a brand deal video so i have to post and the only thing that i could think of is just a life update because i've been kind of mia i rewatched the footage and i was gonna scrap it because it was too vulnerable and i was like oh then I was like, no, y'all need to see this because it's real. I feel like you guys kind of just deserve an explanation of where I've been. So like I said, this video was sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. God bless them. And I'm just going to kind of transition into their love ya. Dollar Shave Club, baby. <laughs> Oh, what's up? Thank you so much Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's video. Y'all are the best. We have a great little thing going on. Dollar Shave Club has you covered for all of your grooming needs. Shower, oral care, deodorants, and most importantly, shaving. They sent me their ultimate shave starter set, okay? This is the exclusive handle and it comes, ouch! Don't grab a razor by the blade. Oh my god. Um, anyway, it comes with a razor and six high quality blades. Well, at least you know it works. It works. Don't grab it by the blade like I just did. What? This is a one ounce tube of Dr. Carver's prep scrub. This is gonna exfoliate your skin, get it ready for that nice shave. It's gonna get rid of all of those dead skin cells. And this also prevents ingrown hairs. This is a one ounce tube of Dr. Carver's shave butter. It's transparent for an easy shave so you know what you're doing. You can see what you're doing down there or wherever. Not down, it doesn't have to be just down. It can be anywhere. And it also fights razor bumps. And finally, this is Dr. Carver's one ounce post shave do. This stuff helps provide hydration and it relieves on contact. And I think that this is my favorite out of the three. My skin gets so dry, I have very dry skin. My, <laughs> my humidifier is running constantly and this stuff really helps with the hydration. So I love this stuff the best. And also Dollar Shave Club just launched an entirely new skin line that includes sunscreen, eye savior, and acne eraser for not only a clean shave, but for clear skin all year round. And you guys can visit dollarshaveclub.com slash basca to get your own ultimate shaver starter set for only five dollars and round out your grooming routine by adding any of their other high quality products and after that the restock box ships razors at a regular price thank you again dollar shave club for sponsoring this video and let's get back into this highly emotional and vulnerable video <laughs> howdy I'm not gonna lie, I'm very uncomfortable right now. I haven't been wanting to film this because of many reasons. I just wasn't ready. I gotta address it and move on so I can continue to work because this has been affecting my work. I'm just gonna get into it. Will and I broke up, okay? And I'm not gonna cry. I've been having panic attacks all day and I feel one coming on, like a heaviness. And I'm just gonna breathe. <sighs> Cause I just, you know, this is so personal. And it's so weird that I even have to like do this. But at the same time, 
I want to and I need to. I just want y'all to know what's going on with me and like why I've been pretty MIA. It's been really fucking hard to deal with this. I'm just being honest. I've never gone through a breakup in my life. This was my first love. We've been together for three years. So it's very difficult. <laughs> There's no instruction manual on how to go through this. It hurts. I think the hardest part too is I, he's literally the best. He's the best person ever. <laughs> and um, we just need to grow separately and find ourselves individually and do our own thing for a bit. And I don't want any of y'all <laughs> to go to his social medias and like comment about this. Like we're both trying to deal with this separately. If you love me and if you respect me, you wouldn't do that to me. Like this is so hard already. <sighs> And he's just the best. We're still friends. We're on really good terms. God bless. He's so mature and so am I. And we can be friends and be cool about it. But this was my first love, man. And I've never ever gone through these emotions before. So this is all new to me. <laughs> And I thought the best thing for me was to not post because I was trying to figure out myself and what I was feeling and and just like, oh my god, and just how to heal. And I felt like posting on Instagram of like selfies of me, I, it's just, ugh, I... I had no interest in that. Even going on Twitter was weird. Like I would like scroll through, but I didn't want to fucking post shit. I just had to process it on my own. That's what I've been doing. I've been seeing a life coach. I've been leaning on my friends and family. And I'm in the process of healing. And I think that this was one of the steps that I had to take in order to continue my healing process. It was literally just to tell you guys. You guys just care about me and I've been seeing a lot of tweets and messages being like, are you good? Like, where the fuck are you? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm starting to figure it out. You know, I'm like in the, I'm finding my groove. I just moved into my new place. You can't really tell. There's like no art on the walls. It's super boring. Um, this is just the biggest transitional period that I've had in a, probably in forever. <laughs> just trying to get back to me and like feeling comfortable in my own skin and feeling comfortable to post again. And I think this will definitely help. It's just like different. A three-year relationship. We just need to work on ourselves and that's okay and i'm starting to realize that that this like it's normal to feel this way it's just nice to hear other people's stories and i think that that's why i'm posting this too because i want to know like how y'all dealt with this shit it's weird being on my own again and not like having that person <laughs> Y'all know how much I loved him. You know what I mean? Like, y'all know. Nothing but love. It's like bittersweet. And who knows what's gonna happen in the future, you know? And I think that's like the most terrifying part of this whole thing. The fear of the unknown, you know? I'm going through like a lot of weird demons, anxieties, and insecurities coming out right now. It's just a change. I'm trying to fucking adapt. And I'm really proud of myself for not crying, even though that's okay to cry. I've just cried so much. And you know what's crazy? I felt like I was having a panic attack like right when I started filming and now like just talking about it really, you know, cleared that shit. Oh, also this is, um, 
the Gonzalo Martin Instagram post, AKA Sean from Life is Strange posting about me. I put it on a sweatshirt and I wanted to kind of like dive into that really quick. I kind of wanted to touch on like why I was also so fucking emotional when it was over. Y'all can probably guess. It was because I was using that game as a coping mechanism and distraction. It helped me a lot to just dive into someone else's life. Like just to be Sean Diaz and not me. <laughs> like going through this like i could just fucking be like all right it's sean diaz daniel's so annoying and when it was over <laughs> not only did i get the worst outcome i gotta deal with my emotions now i have to like untangle all of these emotional knots in my soul and like sit on them and like cry about it and like heal i'm like no so when fucking Gonzalo Martin posted about me, I lost it. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. Like, it meant so much to me. And I couldn't just fucking tell you guys that. So I put it on a shirt and I'm talking about it now. And he followed me on Instagram. He responds to my story sometimes. And it's, it's the coolest, trippiest shit ever. I'm like, oh my god, shit. But like, you're not Sean, you're Gonzalo, you're a real person, and you're your own person, and you're not Sean. You know what I mean? You're just the actor. So, anyway, I'm stoked on this. Also, moving into a new apartment and like, having that consume my life for, a f like, it was like a month and a half to move in here. Um, that was great. It was so nice considering the timing of all of this, like I could literally just distract myself. Now that I'm all moved in, I'm like, <laughs> I have to post on YouTube and like work again. This is my job and I love doing this, but I can't do this without letting you guys in on what's going on or else it'll eat me alive even more. I feel a lot better. Wow, talking, <laughs> expressing your emotions helps. Um, I cannot wait to show you my new apartment, y'all. We have a balcony, we have a fucking rooftop deck. There's sunlight, more space. I got an office, so it's like, I'm going to work now and I just like go into a new space. It's nice. So this is just like a huge, transition period for me. My life coaching sessions have been helping a lot. My mentor, oof, I love her. She has helped me so much during this whole process. Like, I don't know what I would do without her. I'm excited to tap into my authentic self and really fall in love with myself. You know what I mean? I've always been pretty confident, but I'm ready to fucking accelerate and step into someone even better and just unlock a new potential. I feel like I can just post shit and not having that like on my chest. With that being said, in my office I have like a little gaming station and I think I'm gonna start going on Twitch. I wanna play Among Us everyone's talking about it and i was thinking about making like a separate gaming channel and just uploading the twitch streams on there just like every other youtuber like i feel like every youtuber right now has like another gaming channel and i want to do it bro like i like playing games not like emotionally but like i like playing games so let me know if y'all would be into that I think it'd be fun and it would like really help me get out of my head. Anyway, I was literally just gonna sit here and talk about moving. I kind of went on a little tangent there. I hope this kind of like gave you some more insight about like where I've been. I'm gonna get back to posting on Instagram. That just has not been a priority of mine at all. <laughs> But now that I'm like figuring myself out, feeling more confident, I want to post on Instagram again. <laughs> I'm like, do I? But like, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm at a point now where it's like, who gives a fuck? Like, I just want to post whatever. 
instead of being like, Arr! social media people can't know about my life. Some things have to be private, but also I'm gonna explode. <laughs> it's a balance, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a sponsored video, but I needed to make it. For the longest time, I was like, I'm not ready to talk about it, but I think that like I am ready and I just needed to just do it. And like having a sponsored video helped push me. So, hey, thanks Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Please don't go to Will's social medias and say anything. And just spread love, spread kindness. Be gentle with one another. Love y'all.